long time ago at a desert oasis, far away. Nice to see Sigurd. I would... You have a keen eye for quality. Done for now. Now. May they sing of your deeds and my craftsmanship. <laughs> Good. Shall we then, Eivor, to Norway, and well beyond? To Norway, then. Good, good! Lead on! Abroad have shaped us more than all the decades we spent here, brother. And it's bloody cold. Colder than I remember. Fair hair's kingdom now. Every peak and fjord. It pains me to say it. To think it even. And our father is full, the poor man. It is a role he chose. He bent easily and broke in half. Do not pity him. No. For many moons I could not sleep, always thinking of his betrayal. Horrors of this He deserves nothing but shame now. Put it out of your mind, Sigurd. There's no need to hound the old man. No. He must taste the same foulness that I taste. He must know what glory he missed by staying here, the lap dog of a conqueror. You want to speak with him? Yes. Face to face. I will tell him the truth. The unafraid foe fought, cleft with his gold. Hilted sword, like the breach of the real mound, the warriors had it laid split on the ground. Alric starts. I fear his rebuke. Oh no, I crave it. It may be the old hound has Hush lost now. his bark. But maybe you will light a fire beneath him, inspire him with tales of our glory. If I do, I'll stoke that flame until it burns. <laughs> what was it Randy said? Our father spends his days in the meat halls and his nights on barren planks of wood. That's right. We'll search the need holes. I remember one nearby. A sad hole where men soak their unhappiness. We should look there. We come empty-handed. Not even a gift to offer. Rats to... Where did we leave off? Ah, rats don't appreciate gifts. They sniff and lick them without care. You are chipper, brother. Have a look, Sunin. That poor soaker, he never leaves. From sun up to sundown. We should go. Look at him. Father. Odin's blessing, come and let me look at you Stop. both. That is far enough. Blood of cheer, 
What happened there? A grievous wound you have. Are you well? Far better than I look, I assure you. This... this calls for a toast. Your journey must have been long and cold. A drink to warm your blood. We are not here to drink or make merry. Only to look upon the rackets of a once great man. And then what? Make new war against King Harald? Stake a claim on his crown? Is that your wish? To sow more chaos here? <laughs> You're absurd, old man. What could possibly interest me in this frozen backwater? I heard rumors that England was infested with kings already. I thought maybe... Maybe you would return here to... Uh... I have cast aside all dreams of kingship, father. A much greater end lies in wait for me. <laughs> I have returned for one reason only, to say goodbye, and to thank you for your colossal failure. Failure? As a father, as a king, as a man. For without it, I would not have discovered my true self. My failure, as you call it. My oath to King Harald was the only sensible path forward for a man in my situation. It was your right to pledge your crown to another. And I know you did what you thought best for the safety of our clan. As Harald's forces advanced, I knew we did not have the strength to oppose him. We were too disorganized, too weak. With the sun ever absent, always off raiding in some far-flung land, never concerned with the duties of kingship. What choice did I have but to pledge my allegiance to him? A man with ambition and an army to match it. Absent? I acted only as the son of a king must. To earn you riches, to bring you glory, to praise your name. The people of Constantinople had no use for my name, Sigurd. I needed you here. Listen to this weeping old goat. You should have told us of your plan to bend the knee to Harald. And spared me the shame of seeing my father debase himself like a gutted pig. You are right. I owed you the truth, and for that I am sorry. But I will not apologize for what I did. Then I have nothing left to say to you. Sigurd, from the day you were born, I wanted nothing more than to pass on my title, my land, my people, to you. But one year is never like another, and with the passage of time, certain truths appeared, unavoidable. Ours was the last kingdom in Norway to resist Harald's advance. To oppose him would have been our death. You do not know that. We could have fought back. We could have, yes. And suffered countless deaths for no other reason than to protect our pride. We will never know the truth. Because you were too afraid to risk it. Look after him, Eivor. And if you have the chance, lead him back from the edge of the abyss. He's my brother, not my dog. Be well, old man, and serve your king with honor. This sad business is finished. And good riddance. And now we sail for further shores. To my true purpose. To my destiny. To the end of my road. I will follow you as far as you wish in this world, brother. But if you mean to take us further, I may reconsider. I do not think you will, Eivor. I think you will marvel at what I have to show you. Still dwelling on your father? Not at all. I was only reflecting on my visions, wondering at them, how present they are, like memories of yesterday.
We have come a long, long way in search of a hazy vision, Sigurd. Be careful. Good Eivor. I would not lead you blindly into the unknown. Have faith that what I know is true, and where we go is real. You should know... you are not alone in this. I too have had visions. Have you? And what did they foretell? It is hard to say. I've seen Odin leading me into shadows. I've seen spinners weaving wild destinies from pools of blood. I saw the great beast Fenrir, the branches of the world tree, and a man with... Go on. Valka warned me of a great betrayal, but what form it takes I cannot say. I see. I hold to my oath, Sigurd. You know that. Betrayal is not in my nature. Of course not. You are a stalwart as a pillar of stone. Come now. My destiny awaits. Burma, Brutaifa! Off we go! Daughters of I here, bless our passage. Yes. I feel a great calm as we cross these waves. This ordeal with the elf king, Alfred. How far have you pushed him? Does he bend? Will he break? Guthrum's army will be chasing him across Wessex now. With luck, he will push Alfred into the sea. Strange how these earthly concerns seem so distant to me. But we've gained so much in England. And we stand to win even more. The Christians are hardy foes. They see one man above who holds the axe. One man higher than us all. That is a powerful fuel. We hold our own axe. We swing it where we may. The woman, Fulke. In my time with her, as painful as it was, she showed me things. Things so strange and wonderful, I am almost grateful for her treachery. What she did to you was cruel beyond measure. Yet, with every snap of the flame, with every scar, with the loss of my arm, my visions grew stronger. If you can find the good in that, fine. She was as mad as the ocean is wide. Even the mad ones can offer wisdom. Their Jesus was an odd fellow. Now half the known world loves him. And no one believed us when we were young, and we chiseled our plans onto tables in meat halls. Not even my father. There is the secret I know well. Can we not return to England and finish together what we began? No, forget all that. The future is forward. A great wealth awaits us. I'm with you, brother. Until the end. A white rage stands in our way. Keep moving forward! Do you know the way? As I know my own mind! We will cut through this winter sheet like swords through straw! Do not worry! To Paris on a lonely fjord! We'd be the shame of our clan! Ha! That we would! Follow me! 
into this kingdom of snow. Sigurd, can we not wait for this to pass? Ah, oh, the sting of ice on skin. Revel in this, Eivor. We walk the footpath of the gods. To where? More glaciers and deserts of snow. To glory! Could we not wait until this tempest quiets down? With a ship, where we have mead and food to warm us. No, we must confront the omens and honor the gods. They will not seek or find you. We must go to them. We would be poor company, with frozen bones and ice pellet for ice. You need not fear the cold, Eivor. Where we are going, the winds and snows cannot touch. cold as wind from Niflheim. Keep steady. It should not be far now. I hope so! There. The frozen lake. This must be it. And ahead lies a cavern. Will you not say where this leads? You will see soon enough. Too late to turn back, I fear. There! The cave! Within hides the sacred gate! The ice looks fragile. Can you clear it? Races. This is it. Gods. This door. Have you seen this before? The space above. The Saga Stone sat there, did it not? Long, long ago, yes. Now stand clear. Svachoi nogvat uns membro trurvonti quorde, un solas vras gnogadide. Unsum hujas reis derae, hujas saunsi. How did you do this? Where did you learn these words? I told you, Eivor. My visions are memories of a life once lived. Come, gods. What is this place? Over here, this plate will lead us onward. Hoera Sea. Where does it lead? 
to the Hall of the Slain, the Golden Fields, to Valhalla. This vessel was it crafted by dwarves. It is finely made, that much is true. I doubt Gunnar could hammer a piece any finer. In this cavern, so deep and humming with magic. There, the old tree, the tree of life. What is this? See how proudly she sits, how beautiful she gleams. Here all the roots of life run together. The skulls would cry to behold such a sight. And there is more to come. I swear by all the names of the Old Father, this is only a taste of what I have in store for you. For my visions go further, to Odin's great hall. There. Do you feel that? The sacred energies? I have never seen something so grand. This shrine is ours. It will open for us. Watch and see for yourself. How do you know these things? Was all this in your vision? All this and more. Yes, it is returning to me now. This ancient shrine is set alight by the sphere of metal. And these shining arms, these branches, they will grant us access to the refuse of the gods, to Valhalla. Are you ready? What lies beyond all this? Where does this lead? Take your place at the center there, and you will see. Hill you give us, the guest is coming. What is this place? After all this time, Eivor, we have arrived. Now raise a horn with Freya here and sing a victory song. Sigurd, what is all this? Your, your arm has returned, and your vicar as well. Glory eternal, Eivor. Here we dine in the great hall of the slain, at long last. Oh, I want to scream with joy. This is... 
This is all so beautiful. Your visions were... They were real. The battle has closed! Come, dear! To the field! Fight with us! Go, Eivor. Enjoy the fight. You have earned your place here. with those short flies. You and I must fight. The battle we never had. And hold nothing back, for here we need not fear a thing. Spill the eternal blood of Valhalla. At last, I share the den of infinite battles. Brother! Worry not, Ava. <laughs> For we earn no scars here, only battle wisdom. The day is done! What just happened? The Hobby returns to lead us to victory! Lead us to glory, Javi! We are proud to serve you, Javi! Sigurd, your arm has grown back. It was never gone, Eivor. Not truly. Nothing is permanent here. I told you. Nothing save the courage and reputation of its warriors. Are we immortal in this place? <laughs> Let us discover that together. A new day. to the marrow's bed. Again, you've lost your arm. And again, it will... <laughs> Father? Is that you? That cannot have been my father.
the Harvey returns to lead us to victory. Skull! Skull! Take your horn. Join the battle cheer. Dearest Skull, the war and verse. How do you like this frenzy so far? It is... It is quite something. Raise your horn, Eivor. What stops you? My father, Varin. Have you seen him in this hall? I have not. Should he be here? No, he died a coward. Yet by Odin's eye, I swear I've seen him. Cast aside your cares in Valhalla. Let seeking go. We have earned our joy. The journey is complete. Seen Varen. Who? Varen. My father. Varen? Father? This fucking arm, I'll beat a man to death with it. Do you not tire of his injuries? Never. Wait. Father? Eivor, you have a guest. You should have knocked first. Nonsense! I brought you someone. Look! My Eivor! There you are! What a warrior you have made of yourself! I am overfilled with pride. How did you find your way here? You remember our great battle? You remember how we fought, side by side, with your mother and Sigurd and our clans united? We fought, father, but you did not. You died a coward. Eivor, enjoy this. Your father has returned. <laughs> ah! uh! Have you lost all your love for life? That was not my father. That was a lie. That was not a lie. That was my gift to you. I have power here, and I can do as I please. You wished to see your father. I made it happen. As easy as breathing. By Odin's laws, my father is not allowed in this place. I do not wish to see him where he should not be. 
Your father died doing what he hoped would save you. He died to protect you and his clan. No. He... This is the end of our road, Eivor. This is Valhalla, the eternal golden field. Now come. Battle beckons.